Sumatra is the largest coffee producer in Indonesia and one of the major coffee producers is found in the highland of Takengon, Central Aceh, Nangro Aceh Darussalam. Here the farmers mostly plant Arabica and over 90% of the people here earn their living from this type of coffee. The farmers own at least an average of one hectare of land and rely heavily on the large scale of coffee production as well as the market prices. The coffee farms, which had already been planted more than a hundred years ago, are now the region's major pillar of economic support. At Takengon, there is one cooperative, Baitul Kirad Baburayan Cooperative, or commonly abbreviated as KBQB, which manages the farmer's coffee production. This cooperative was established in 2002 and aimed to create an easier as well as stable market access for its members. Kooperasi ini didirikan pada akhir tahun 2002 atau tepatnya di bulan Oktober tahun 2002. Nah, pada mulanya pada saat uh, didirikan itu kita selaku anggota pendiri itu lebih kurang cuma 20 orang. Nah, pada tahun 2004 kami melihat bahwa di dunia ini ada satu tren uh, Orang di Eropa atau di Amerika itu mengkonsumsi produk-produk uh, yang organik. Jadi kami dengan uh, beberapa pengurus, dengan pengurus dan beberapa staff, kita coba membuat satu produk kopi yang organik. It also aimed to revive the coffee industry in Aceh. KBQB is a cooperative that upholds the concept of fair trade and organic certification. Initially, this cooperative was formed to provide savings and loan facilities for small farmers around the region, but gradually it developed into a processing and coffee trade center to help improve the farmers' economic means. kawan bilang Baburayan bisa bantu bibit kan gitu. Terus saya coba saya hubungi kawan-kawan di sana. Ternyata memang ada dibantu gitu, bantu penanaman, bantu bibit. Ya saya ikutin terus. Berkebetulan pihak Baburayan pun memberikan gitu. Currently, the KBQB has already 7,800 small farmers as its members who plant coffee on Gayo Highland and on the hillside around Takengon. Dari 2005 ke 2010, orang sudah mulai melihat kerja kita, maka Banyak anggota kita masuk, jadi dari 20 jadi 600 menjadi 6.000. Jadi pada saat 6.000 itu di, di situ kita mulai bombing, sehingga kita bangunlah pabrik yang seperti ini, kemudian kantor yang seperti yang kita lihat, terus karyawan juga kita rekrut, lebih kurang karyawan bekerja sama kita sekitar 300 orang. KBQB has been producing organic world-class coffee in accordance with the fair trade system and export them to international markets with high demands such as Europe and the United States. KBQB has also received many awards in its domestic and international markets. It's one of the most successful coffee cooperatives in the country and in Southeast Asia. The existence of this cooperative creates livelihood, training and empowerment to thousands of coffee farmers and their families. Jadi kooperasi kita ini terus berkembang. Sekarang ada ada permasalahan di lapangan, permasalahannya masalah iklim. Jadi apa yang orang menyebutkan sekarang climate change. Jadi ada perubahan iklim. Jadi dengan perubahan iklim ini ada kecenderungan produksi kopi terus menurun padahal sementara peminum kopi tambah banyak. Nah, Jadi di 2013 kita mendapatkan uh, satu satu mitra kerja itu namanya Pur Project. Jadi Pur Project 
Waktu itu memberikan bibit kepada kita, kerjasama di bidang iklim, penanaman pohon, mereka memberikan bibit, tahun pertama itu 25.000 bibit. Dah, 2014 ditambah dengan 40.000 bibit. Jadi sampai dengan 2017 ini, kita mendapat bibit dari Pur Project 600, eh, 235 ribu bibit dengan jumlah petani penerima 618 orang. The journey process of the coffee industry in Takengon, which is giving life to many farmers, has also caused environmental damage, such as the reduction of the forest area due to inappropriate agricultural practices. This has caused further soil erosion, low soil fertility, migration and even poverty. As a result, some farmers switch to farming other crops such as palm trees, which perpetuate the environmental damage. In 2016, Ako Hotels pitched in to support this project through the Plant for the Planet campaign. I probably say that uh, we are consistently deliver our commitment for the Plant for the Planet program with the help of our guests in minimizing the use of the towel during their stay we are able to plant more than 170,000 trees since 2007 uh, not only in the sake of reforestation this is only giving added value to the farmer welfare and children education plant for the planet is funded through half of the savings made on laundry costs when guests staying in several nights choose to reuse their towels. To date, more than 5 million trees have been planted in 26 countries and the group aims to fund the planting of 10 million trees by 2021. Ako Hotels has been supporting Plant for the Planet since 2009, which supports local communities and small-scale farmers in partnership with Peu Projet. Pour Projet is a social enterprise active in 40 projects around the world, helping companies to understand and transform their supply chains and work with small farmers that are their suppliers to improve their livelihood, improve the ecologi ecological situation. That's why we use native tree species that farmers want and bring a value and a benefit to them to improve their economic situation, uh, the soil protected against erosion, improve water, but also help the wildlife, hope conservation and bio, uh, biodiversity. Since 2013, Pur Projet has planted native trees of the area together with farmers of KBQB. The group is committed to planting trees on the edge of or in the heart of cultivated or grazing land in a drive to preserve and regenerate ecosystems. The aim is to promote the transition towards a more eco-friendly farming and offset the impact on water quality and biodiversity resulting from the agricultural production stage of the food consumed in the hotels, such as planting shade-producing trees on coffee farms in Takengon. These trees are integrated into coffee farms as shade trees and agroforestry systems. In addition to its economic value, shade provided by trees will also improve the coffee quality, organically enrich the soil fertility, pest prevention, therefore helping to reduce the dependence on chemical fertilizers and pesticides. The existence of shade trees prevents soil erosion and protects crops from naturally occurring events. All the trees planted provide economic and practical benefits to the farmers through its produce like fruits, commercially viable timber, as well as medicinal and beauty products. Besides the economic benefits for farmers, we plant native trees to, for ecological benefits, uh, for wildlife, for conservation, for soil, for water. We are here in Achetakenon, uh, in the outskirts of the Loiser ecosystem, one of the most important global biodiversity hotspots of Sumatra and Indonesia. We'll have around in the outskirts here two species of tiger, uh, rhinoceros, orangutans, and many, many other fantastic and endemic and critical endangered species who we protect their habitat against further encroachment and restore uh, land with native species to increase their habitat also. 
Besides producing fruits and timber, these trees also protect and improve the coffee productivity. The project ensures the coffee quality, constant supply and increases the diversifying income sources of farmers and their families. Aside from its socio-economic benefits, the project helps to fight climate change by capturing and storing CO2 from the atmosphere in growing trees, prevent soil erosion, regulate microclimate, protect water supplies from threat of drought, and support local wildlife and biodiversity. Therefore, Organic Coffee Farm Agroforestry is truly a sustainable initiative that improves socio-economic growth human well-being and the ecology. This program also connects local farmers with global companies to introduce the best cup of coffee to coffee connoisseurs everywhere. In KBQB, knowledge and training about processing coffee beans is also shared with the farmers. From bean picking and processing to brewing and serving the coffee. There are several coffee processes, but the most common are full wash, semi-wash, and dry or natural process. Proses untuk mendapatkan kopi yang sempurna itu diawali dengan pemanenan kopi dengan memilih kopi yang merah. Artinya proses pencernaan itu harus semua betul-betul dari red cherry. Setelah itu, petani pada saat itu harus juga mempulper kopi tersebut pada hari yang sama. Dipetik pagi, sore harinya harus dipulper. Setelah dipulper, malam harinya akan fermentasi sampai ke esok pagi harinya. Uh, fermentasi itu membutuhkan waktu sekitar 10-12 jam. Setelah itu, kopi dicuci dengan sangat bersih. Artinya lendir dari kopi itu harus bersih dan kopi itu ternyata clean. Setelah itu, kopi akan langsung dijemur uh, apakah di meja atau di terpal yang menggunakan alas sampai kekeringan 30%. Itu masih kopi gabah ataupun kopi parchment. Setelah itu, kopi akan di Haling, dihaling mengupas kulit tanduk basah yang fungsinya uh, untuk membuat kopi itu menjadi wet haling atau labu. Uh, setelah dikupas, kopi akan dijemur di lantai ataupun di wadah yang menggunakan uh, terpal atau juga meja yang menggunakan sarlon. Apabila cuaca normal akan ber, uh, kering sekitar 3-4 hari itu akan menghasilkan kopi dengan kadar air 12%. For the full wash process, the farmers will pick only the red coffee cherries. On the same day, these cherries are pulped to remove the skin. These skins will then be collected for composting and become a natural fertilizer in the coffee farms. Once they get pulped, the coffee beans will be fermented for about 12 hours to remove their mucilage. This process includes further steps of washing and soaking in the next 12 hours to cleanse the coffee bean for the very best results. This process produces distiller's wet grain. Then it will be left to dry until the moisture content of the coffee drops to about 30 to 40% for the wet hulled coffee process and about 11 to 13% for the dry hulled process. When dried, the coffee grain is hulled to remove the parchment, or skin layer. This process produces green bean coffee, which is ready for sale. The green bean coffee will have to be roasted according to personal preference, such as light roast, medium roast, or dark roast. The roasted coffee will finally be grinded into coffee grounds and brewed before it is served. The Arabica Gallo coffee is now ready to be enjoyed.